There's just some missing pieces that we need from the community, and we're asking for your help. Now at 5.30, the family of a murdered 10-year-old girl is not giving up hope that someone can help solve the mystery surrounding her death. It's been nearly a quarter century since someone killed Holly Perenin. Good evening, everybody. I'm Leah Martin. And I'm Paula Evan. It was back in 1993. Holly was visiting her grandparents in Sturbridge when she vanished. Two months later, someone discovered her remains in the woods in Brimfield. As WBZ's David Robichaux shows us, family members returned to that site today, hoping to generate the lead they need. By the side of a road in Brimfield, the relatives of a little girl who was murdered 24 years ago appeal for help. The tip campaign is called Hope for Holly. There's a $40,000 reward for the arrest of her killer. She was only 10 years old. It's just very, very sweet and um, just a typical great little girl that we miss terribly. Holly went missing while visiting her grandparents in Sturbridge in 1993. Volunteers searched for weeks. Her body was found by hunters in the woods three months later in Brimfield. There have been leads over the years, but no arrests. In 95% of cold cases, the perpetrator is actually identified in the first 30 days of the investigation. So that's what we're hoping to happen. There could be a link to another murder case in 1992 Lisa Ziegert was raped and murdered in Agawam. Investigators found DNA on her body that matched a suspect named Gary Shara. Shara's DNA will now be run against other unsolved cases like Holly's. Hamden County saw in Lisa Ziegert's case. They're um, very pumped up. They, had, they are reinvigorated and reinvestigating Holly's case, going back, looking at old leads. Though they've had many disappointments for nearly a quarter century, this family vows to continue their search for justice. We'll never give up, you know, it's part of us, she's part of us, and we'll never rest until we find out who did this and why. One of the organizers told me they've already received some valuable tips. In fact, she said some of them, quote, should make some of the suspects very nervous. In Brimfield, I'm David Robichaux, WBZ News.